Hey guys, out here at Queensland Motor Park today, um, Brisbane Motorcycles has got us a big range of the 450s for 2022 models. We've got Yamaha, Cowie, Honda, Husqvarna all here today. Um, and we're going to be hitting the track, testing them all out. Uh, now I guess we can give you guys a bit of a um, bit of insight into which bike might suit you um, when you're going to make your purchase.
All right, so start of the day on the Honda. Um, I think where it really, um, really shines is the tighter corners. So the thing can just turn on a dime. Feels like the front end is super heavy, like it's really heavy on the front end. So if you want to get into like a tight corner and just get in and out really quick, Honda's a bike for you. Um, on top of that, I felt like I didn't have to move back and forward on the bike so much. It was like I was covering the whole thing without really trying to. Almost felt like a shorter, like a shorter wheelbase. I'm not actually sure of the specs, but just to ride it feels like um, if you're not someone who really wants to move around on the bike a lot, I think the Honda will really suit you to just like hit those turns and you know, so from your braking position to your cornering position to your going up your straights, your jumps, everything, you're in a very similar spot. You don't have to move around too much. All right, next up was the Husqvarna. Um, immediately noticed with the Husky, exiting turns, the rear end traction was unreal. So even on the real dry, hard, skatey stuff, it just seemed to hook up and drive really well. Um, on top of that, it just felt nice to ride, like it was plush. I was sort of exiting the turns, so heaps of traction coming in. Um, coming into the turns, the same thing. Suspension felt nice and soft. I could sit myself into the ruts and go. Um, engine, engine package was unreal. So I was talking the bike around a lot. So keeping it, I wouldn't ever really click down to second gear. I'd stay sort of third gear, um, just roll on the gas out of the corner and the thing would just pull. Didn't matter if I was flying around the corner or taking the corner pretty slow, that engine was so strong, just pull me out. Um, yeah, the torque of that thing is probably between that and the rear end traction, that, that Husqvarna, that's where it shine, really shines for me. All right, so then jumped on the Yamaha. Um, straight away, what I noticed with it, uh, felt a little bit wider between your legs, but didn't feel like a big bike on the track. Um, it felt super planted coming into the turns. I felt like I could come in um, and I always knew where my tires were. They were exactly planted underneath me, easy to line up the ruts. Um, and like I do feel really comfortable on the Honda, like I said, to not, I don't have to move around a whole lot. But numbers don't lie, I had the my pit board on the bars um, and my quickest lap time of the day was on the Yamaha. So um, yeah, I think that sort of speaks for itself. It just gave me that confidence uh, with the thing just feeling so planted to the ground. Okay, so Kawasaki was last up. Um, already used to track, track started to dry out a little bit. So um, what I noticed on that bike was the front end was really good once you got into the rut. It was a little bit harder to place than some of the other bikes to place it into the rut, but once you're in there, it felt so light and nimble and I could really rail the ruts really well. Um, on top of that, the power was really like user-friendly. It wasn't aggressive, wasn't ripping out of my hands. I could come into the turns and I personally could get aggressive because the bike wasn't crazy aggressive and I could, um, yeah, it didn't matter if I accidentally hit a bit of throttle, the bike would sort of stay in that nice smooth power curve the whole way through. Uh, felt a little bit 250-esque, like I could get a little bit more aggressive and play with the bike, throw it around a little bit more on this Cowie. Um, yeah, I'd say that was the benefit. It just felt like a smaller bike, a more of a playful bike. I could sort of throw it around and just do what I wanted with it. Okay, so overall, unreal day. Thank you to Brisbane Motorcycles. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed this. Um, it was awesome to get out on all the different brands on a really cool track here at QMP. We had some deep ruts, we had some small ruts, we had tight, slippery, tacky, bit of everything today. Um, and yeah, really got a good feel of what each bike does. So hopefully it helped you guys um, maybe like figure out what bike you might want to get. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one.